Good Monday morning, everybody. Hello, it's me, Christy Lee. And as just mentioned, it's Monday, and I'm actually feeling pretty good. I didn't think that that was going to happen, because I woke up like, uh, it's Monday. I don't want to go to work. But I've been sitting outside my job uh, for two hours now. I don't have to be until 11, but this last hour is going to go by very quickly, as it always does. And I have been sitting here investing in my future. How do you do that from your car, truck, SUV, you may ask? Well, for one, I just purchased, because I only recently found out that you could do this, I just purchased small amounts of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Is that how you say it? Ethereum? 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 Um, to add to my cryptocurrency portfolio. As you may or may not know, if you've been following me for a while, I did do some Satoshi mining earlier this year. Didn't get very much of a payout because the one site that I was making the most on never actually paid out and then tried to tell me that I went against policy and had two IPs doing mining for me and that's just not true so in my opinion that was just their way out of getting out of giving me my Bitcoin because I was I was doing I was I was doing pretty well on there I would have had a nice little chunk of Bitcoin in my wallet had they not been a scam site so that was bitminer.io in case you're interested I pretty much believe that unless you already have Bitcoin um, and are I don't know I just feel like I just feel like they're a scam for the small-time miners or whatever. Um, they want you to upgrade your account to pay in Bitcoin to upgrade your account before they will pay you. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so I just found out recently uh, from one of my viewers, Jeremiah Debug Games, that you could actually purchase small amounts of Bitcoin whenever you'd like. Um, so I have a wallet and I just made two small purchases. I spent a total of $12, which is less than I would spend on lunch at McDonald's. And I now have some more Bitcoin. I have about $8 worth of Bitcoin now. I have $5 worth of Ethereum and I have uh, about $46 worth of Litecoin and my next purchases as soon as I figure out how to do that on the exchange I think I know but I'm not I'm not sure exactly how the little how it works how the details works like how how do I exchange I don't know I'm trying to find that out but as soon as I do figure it out I will also be adding Ripple and Stellar and possibly one other that I can't remember what it's called right now I just want to have some of each and I'm only spending very little bits at a time so that it's not I'm not missing anything like it's money that I would have spent on something ridiculous that I don't actually need and I'm just like hey I really want this candy bar and I don't really need the candy bar but instead I'm hopefully investing in my future and maybe building wealth um so yeah I'm actually in a fairly decent mood because of that and then I went on to my Steemit account and I wrote another blog post. Um, <clears throat> so I'm also earning Steam, which is another cryptocurrency. And my account right now, geez, my account right now is valued at a little over $3. So I guess I have that um, in my portfolio as well. A little bit of Steam, not much. Um, but. It was at $4 last week. Steam has actually dropped a little bit. That's okay. I do not fear when things like cryptocurrencies and silver and gold prices drop. I see that as an excellent buying opportunity. When the price is that low, it becomes something that I can actually afford. And then I can buy more. And then when the price goes back up, I've made some profit. So I'm happy with that. Um, so the camera on my phone has really been acting up. So at any point in this video, the audio and the video do not line up. I apologize. Please bear with me. I am going to go to my phone carrier. Metro is who I go through. And I'm going to see if I am still under warranty if I can get a new phone because this has been an ongoing issue for several months now. It's really starting to aggravate me. There's been so many videos that I have made. I made one yesterday and I was editing and uh, the 
it just like glitches while I'm recording and then the, the audio just goes off and no matter how much I try to edit it to sync everything up it just doesn't work and it's getting very frustrating it's making me not want to even do videos because nobody wants to watch a video that looks like I'm in some foreign film I don't know um, so hopefully it'll work in today's video I'm gonna try to keep it short so it doesn't have time to glitch but I've also noticed when I'm like watching other youtubers um, it'll glitch out the screen will glitch out and like I don't know it's so weird but anyway I have like I said been sitting out here outside of my job and I actually just went in to use the restroom and my manager called me into the back I guess um, we have a new I don't know if you would call it campaign or whatever where we have new sandwiches that are on sale and things like that and we have to put up the new the posters the signs and all that and we were missing one and it was kind of a big deal and we were kind of freaking out and her manager was in there and everybody was kind of freaking out but I think it was resolved I hope it was resolved anyway um, I work today 11 to 3 30 which is half an hour shorter than I normally do I I don't do I usually do 11 to 4 maybe it's usually 11 to 5 anyway I've got 37 and a half hours this week but I have a little bit of a shorter shift today I opened I had yesterday off I opened on Saturday 6 to 3 um, I wasn't late thank goodness I was late the week before um, but I set myself five different alarms on my phone with five different sounds so that if I because sometimes the noises will just like intertwine themselves in my dreams and I don't realize that it's an alarm going off I just think it's background music in my dreams so if one of them didn't wake me up another one would and it worked it worked fine so and it was a pretty easy going day until right after lunch and then I got super busy but it's good it's good um, and I still haven't been able to tell you guys about me working or maybe I did I did tell you I worked a 12 hour shift some point last week yeah so anyway I haven't done any more ship shops I wanted to yesterday I had the day off like I said and I wanted to get out and do some but I am having some major issues with that um, in the video I recorded last night and didn't get to post I told you guys that I was discussing it with Eric or I was telling him about it. I don't think he was really paying attention but I get so nervous like I should be putting myself on the schedule when I have time off and picking up shops Oh, I think I just saw the video glitch. Anyway, Eric was out of work for a week because of his back issues. And that's going to hurt us big time. The landlord has not been cashing our weekly checks. We pay him weekly. He's very gracious enough to let us to let us do that because we live week to week. And I had spoke with him about it last month. And I told him that if we write him checks, I really need him to cash it that week because we budget and we can't afford for him to cash two checks in one week um, but he hasn't been doing it so he has not cashed the last three checks so I have a feeling he's gonna cash them either today or tomorrow and he's gonna end up emptying our bank account and so I really really need to sorry I thought the food tr delivery truck was coming two days early anyway I really really need to get out and do some ship shops to help make up for some of this lost income and I get so nervous I get so nervous I start almost like having an anxiety attack even though once I start doing the shops I'm fine but sitting here thinking about it is causing me issues so I have not done any ship shops in a couple of weeks I think and I really need to I know it could be a good source of income I'm just so nervous I don't know. Anyway, um, anything else I wanted to update you guys on? Oh, I've only had five entries into my giveaway, um, which is fine. I mean, that's fine. But I really, there are those of you that have been around for so long, and I really want you to enter. And Eric pointed out, I think he pointed out, that maybe it's uncomfortable for some people to say that they want to be entered. Please don't feel uncomfortable. Just, I don't know, just say say yes or something I don't know I want you to be entered um, I'm ready to go pick out the prizes I think I'm gonna wait until I've got the entries and then do the drawing and then I can kind of customize the prizes to the people who win because I know you know I talk 
frequently to some of you and if you happen to win I think I've got a pretty good idea of what you might like so anyway if you haven't commented on the video where I talked about the giveaway it was called this is disturbing because I was doing a facial mask that was kind of freaky um, you could either comment there or comment here it doesn't really matter I'm saving all of the comments I get notifications and I'm saving all of the comments for people who have entered so that I can put them in a hat and draw them and all that stuff so make sure because I'm gonna have to close it soon um, you know everybody's waited a very long time for me to even do this and I don't want to make everybody wait even longer um, so please just say you want to be entered I really want you to be entered and um, yeah, so we'll get that we'll get that taken care of. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna go. I guess that's it. I know there's there's more. There's I there I always say there's there's videos that I want to do. I found another YouTube channel that I'm really liking. It's called Dottle Lottle and Dottle Vogel. She has two channels. She's also a musician and she has depression and anxiety and she goes through a lot of things that I go through and I really, really like her, so I've been watching her a lot. She's very soothing and calming, so maybe you should check her out. Um, but she's given me some ideas on some videos that I would like to do related to mental health and sexual abuse. Um, so hopefully those will be coming in the future soon, I hope. Anyway, okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I hope you have a lovely Monday and enjoy the rest of your week. Hopefully I'll see you again real soon. I don't know. Okay. Love you. Bye.